Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Kicking Back. Not just any normal episode though, live from Box Park, yep. Wembley. We're on tour. We're on holiday. We're going on holiday. Oh, a stay of the year. It's and about 100 degrees. Unreal, isn't it? Yeah, I'm actually sweltering. And uh, in a few days' time, and the point of this episode is that the FA Cup final, the Women's FA Cup final, is going to be taking place at Wembley Stadium. So we thought we'd pop down, have a look. Yep and see what it's all about. Yeah. How's it going? I'm fine, yeah. All good. Go. Good to be here. So it's a good final, isn't it? United, Very good final. United, Tottenham. Tottenham. It's like mental. Madness. We were on about the journeys of them two teams, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. So they've not just like appeared suddenly. And the, It's not like, so for example, Man City, who you love, where all the money's just been pumped <laughs> in and like, there you go. These have come from the championship yeah. and they've worked their way up. Yeah, yeah. I think it was 2019, both of them got promoted, didn't right. they? Right, yeah. And I think, you know what, it's interesting. United made a women's team in 2018, got into the championship, got promoted that year, mm -hmm. and absolutely flown. Now they're in the FA Cup final. Yeah, it is yeah. mad. They had a game plan, didn't they? Like when they when they set that club up, I think they knew where they wanted to go. Yeah. And now you're seeing like the team that they're building is crazy. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. I think no. the, so. From my point of view, the one to watch for United in that final. Probably Ella Toon. You think? I think so. I think, obviously, Young got the Euro experience, big games and stuff like that. And isn't it mad that, like, Wembley is the place that's going to host know, this? Like, I know. it's going to be packed. I it's going to be absolutely rambled. A few years ago, Go on. Wembley weren't even a thing, was it? No, it wasn't even I on know. the cards. But I was just thinking, like, obviously, you look at the likes of Ella Toon and that. They've got experience at Wembley. Yeah. They, they've literally been there well, and yeah. done that. And it's like, this, so you know for a fact they'll be up for the occasion, which yeah. is sin proof. And, uh, That's so true, actually. Having experience on that pitch. Massive, is gonna, right? Yeah, it's going to bode well for them. Spurs, not so much. Bit of a bit of a up-and-coming team, I would say. Not quite at the level of United yet. Mm -hmm. However, I think they're doing, you know, they've, done, they've had a good season. Yeah. They've had a really good season. I would say one to watch for Spurs, Martha Thomas. Oh, OK. Ex-United yeah, yeah, yeah. player. Love that. Yeah. And do you know what? I was thinking as well, um, because... Man United, like they've got the players who've been there and done that to some extent. Actually, it might be the case that Tottenham are playing with a bit more freedom, as in Maybe. it's a new one, very exciting. Yeah. Like the magic of the we FA were, Cup. <laughs> were we not on about that the other day? Like about like the like if you are not expected to go and do it, you're playing with a bit more freedom actually in a way, and that can bode well. Football's a weird game yeah, like yeah, that, yeah. isn't it? Like yeah. so, not to like harp on about this, but Blackburn Rovers, right? Um, if we're going and playing Rotherham. Here we go again. No, I'm saying, I'm saying, if we're playing Rotherham, <laughs> we can't Wembley, seem to do it. I know, but listen, it's very important. <laughs> but we just beat Leicester 2 0. Yeah, we beat the champions, we beat Leeds. We, we did all right against Newcastle. My point being, yeah. when they think we can't, yeah. we can. And like, You're happy that you're staying up. A bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm reasonably right. happy about that. Yeah. <laughs> Prem next year. And then. Uh, Back yeah. to the FA Cup. <laughs> yeah, final. sorry, yeah. yeah. Tottenham and <laughs> Kit Graham as well. <laughs> yeah, good player. Yeah, yeah very good like, player. So it's not like, we're not saying there's like, United are favourites and Tottenham are no, nowhere near it. It's actually team. a close game. Very close. Yeah. It'll be a good game. It will be a good game. They've yeah. had similar journeys to get there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they've got similar... Tottenham well got built. promoted in 2019 as well on the same year. So. Yeah, and it's like similarly yeah. well-built squads. So they've had around, around about the same time to actually like get them teams to the point where they're at now. Yeah. And yeah, it's an interesting one, isn't it? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. We played United not too long ago, actually, in a friendly, and, you know, they were top. Were they? <laughs> it yeah. was so good. <laughs> I'm not telling you the score. No, 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 no. It was uh, behind closed doors. <laughs> so. I've got a draw in mind. <laughs> yeah, we'll go with that. Yeah, it was close. Yeah, close ish, close ish. <laughs> <laughs> but it will be a cracking game, yeah, won't yeah, yeah. And like I say, you can actually feel a bit of atmosphere around there. It's no, pretty sick. I mean, so. At Wembley, it would be unreal. Yeah. I, we were saying, weren't we? So I played in the FA Youth Cup final oh, God, yeah, yeah. in 2014, right? And that was at MK Don Stadium. Mad in the youth cup final but then i think the women's cup final can't remember the stadium but the year before that it was at mk dons right. so the women's fa cup final 10 years ago was at mk don stadium how quickly now they're here at wembley mad like it's crazy yeah. the, the like the path that women's football has taken for the better yeah absolutely like, is incredible and to be honest it's not like we're there at the end now it's like a similar thing to what we were talking about before it feels like the beginning of something right yeah. rather than the end of something it feels like this is a step on a path rather than like definitely okay, you're finally there yeah and like it's good to have teams like united and tottenham in the final rather than you know the usual arsenal chelsea yes it's so good to have 100%. like different teams actually that's something else like the quality across like the whole league yeah. and below is yeah, actually yeah. getting wider and wider like if 
you don't actually know which way it's going to go. We can talk about the title race, you can talk about things like yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. And you just don't know which way it's going to go. Yeah, so yeah. it's a massive... Hopefully, they, it could be a team from the championship in the final. You Bible. never know. We'll you see. never know. One day. Next week. <laughs> next year, sorry, next week. <laughs> anyway, guys, this episode is brought to you by Fiverr Sports and Memorabilia. So we want to say a big thanks to those guys. Uh, they do all sorts. People who've been here, Tyson Fury was here, I've seen him in a video. Everybody who's been here, really, athletes, you name it. Stephen Gerrard, Trent Alexander, Arnold, Mo Salah, that's all Liverpool players, United players as well, Tottenham players as well. They have all their memorabilia, signed boots, framed prints, stuff like that, boxing gloves. You name it, they do it. And if they don't do it, they will just send them an email and they'll get on that for you. So go to fibersportsmemorabilia.com and you can find all the details there. So I'm interested. Yep. What score do you think it's going to be? Right, so we were talking about how these two teams, I don't think it's cut and dry, you know. I actually think it could It could go beyond the 90 minutes. I agree. Isn't that interesting? I'm going to say penalties. Yeah, that's sort of what I've got in my head. To be, <laughs> that's mad, right? Okay, so I will say penalties, and if it does go to penalties, I think that's when you're looking at that past experience to count a little bit more than it might do in the game. So I'm going to put United. Do you think? Yeah, I think United win. I'm going to say Spurs. On penalties? On pens, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, interesting. Yeah. But I do think, do you know, when it's that massive occasion and they're experiencing it for the first time, that's generally when, if there's going to be a slight dip in either team, that's when your confidence you is... You think they're going like, to bottle it? Oh, don't worry, like, I'm saying, like, <laughs> I you know, don't. confidence I is don't. Fun. Confident, so, I think Spurs. I'm not that confident, but <laughs> I think Spurs. Okay. <laughs> As if Spurs are bottle something. Anyway, um, yeah, no, that, that'll, that'll do for this one. It's a little short don't, one. Don't uh, project the men's team onto the women's <laughs> no, no, team. That's fair, yeah. Got nothing to do with them. <laughs> that's fair, yeah. No, Spurs bottling things uh, strictly on the men's side. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, no, that'll do for this time. Uh, a little one from Box Park Wembley. It's been a lovely day, It's been it? great it's already. We had this some co great coffee, Shout out, say. right, is it Black Sheep? The Black Sheep, yeah. Best in my life. I've been living, <laughs> no, it is. I've been living for like three decades now. I'm getting on. And this. Was great. the best one I've ever had. I had a good flat white. Yeah, and what did you have? Flat white. You had a, no, you Snap. didn't. Yeah, I did. I'm alive. Why is it that big? I got a large. Oh, it was a I pound a extra. One. But do you know what? To say we we're in London, I didn't even get robbed. This was uh, like four pounds, I think. Yeah, yeah. So like, what can you say? Normally in London, it's about eighteen pound fifty for something like this. Delicious. Get on it. Uh, yeah, that's not even. Oh, and I've got to thank a sponsor as well. I've just done that for a company, I paid them. Um, <laughs> yeah, I also want to say a massive thank you to Girls Football Trials, who have, uh, these guys, I just want to give them a shout out. To be honest, they're not a sponsor as such, like, um, these, some, they're, they're supporting us, definitely, but we want to do all we can to sort of give them a shout out, because what we found is that they are, okay, if you're a girl who's looking for a football team to play, they are basically promoting trials in different areas, and putting you in touch with clubs so that you can go and hopefully have a career in the game. And I think that's kind of crazy that they're doing that. So we're working with them, but we just want to give them a shout out here as well, because obviously women's FA Cup final, big moment, big moment in the game, really. Yeah, um, really good vision from them as well. Yeah, 100%. Really good from them. And we're a big fan of what they're doing. So you can check them out, girls. So I'll put, I'll put a link in the description. Go and have a look. Uh, but yes, let's go and have a bit more of this hot day. Yeah. Uh, see go and have a look on. around Box Park. Indeed, get back to Black Sheep Coffee yeah. for the finest coffee in the land. All right, yeah. Uh, United win on penalties. That's the verdict. <laughs> we'll see. We'll okay. see. Be a good game. We'll yeah, see. Yeah, it will be. And we'll be back next week for yeah. another episode. Until then, enjoy all the football and have a great enjoy week. Enjoy the game. Yes, indeed. Peace see you out. later.